In this case study, you were responding to a 23-year-old female who was found in cardiac arrest. She was cool, cyanotic with pinpoint pupils. You've begun high quality CPR, secured an ET tube, and you already have access. Then you're asked of all the following interventions, all of them would be appropriate to do except. So let's look at this. The patient's in VFIP. That's obvious. That was given and everybody picked up on that throughout all the socials. Uh, in title of 20, which you know AJ says that should be above 10 and ideally above 15. So D would be correct for that. All right, so everything is going as it should in the arrest. Okay, so young person, pinpoint pupils, a lot of people picking up that probably opiate induced cardiac arrest. All right, now let's break down these answers. Yes, in op to reverse opiates, um, Narcan, Loxone is the go-to for that. Epi, a lot of things brought up in through there. All right, so there's a lot of things built into this, just for clarification, that, you know, epi 0.1 milligrams per milliliter, that is the concentration. All right, so the, the previous nomenclature we used was epi 1 to 10,000. But, you know, a lot of other things we talk about concentrations of. So with that epi 0.1 milligrams per milliliter, that's a concentration, not a dose. So that would be one milligram in 10 milliliters that's one to ten thousand all right and c amiodarone yeah it's in v fib so amiodarone is for refractory v fib meaning that you've tried to fibrillation that's not working now let's throw amiodarone at it in title above 15 ha says should be above 10 ideally above 15 to ensure adequate cpr so d would be right as i said ventilate every five to six seconds showing that's what's going on right now ventilatory 10 a minute um so yeah so five to six seconds right an unsynchronized cardioversion this threw a lot of people into a loophole because unsynchronized cardioversion is defibrillation that is a word that is used very interchangeably with defibrillation you think about it, it's the same amount of energy being delivered whether it's synced up or not defibrillation just goes as soon as you hit the button and synchronized cardioversion finds that absolute right millisecond to give it when it's synced up that's why you have to long press the defibrillation button all right so unsynchronized cardioversion is a defibrillation yes that would be warranted ventilate every five to six seconds yes that is appropriate ventilatory rate and cardiac arrest with that advanced airway already in place and title above 15 yes that is appropriate for efficient CPR. Amiodarone, yes. Refractory VFib gets amiodarone. Epi, yes. Every cardiac arrest gets epi. Narcan, no. There is no research that supports that Narcan is indicated in cardiac arrest. Okay, yeah, we can worry about the H's and the T's, things that can reverse arrhythmias, but Narcan is not going to reverse that arrhythmia. Now, once you get resuscitation, that could be a consideration in there to be giving that if they're not able to be breathing. However, we started thinking about things on down the pathway. What if it isn't? If we're not giving Narcan, you know, we shouldn't just be giving Narcan prophylactically to where it is absolutely indicated. So if they have ROS and they're not breathing and they still have those pinpoint pupils and we've reversed all the hypoxia, then we could be considering Narcan. 